Hey, welcome again to Yes, Passing Sure Looks Easy by Edit Tuition. And I am Ben Ong, the math teacher. All right, so let's take a look at this question Mutus, pens, and files. All right, so I'm going to change the name a little bit to Matthew Ken and buying pencils instead of pens. All right, so yeah, I know, not very creative, I know. All right, so Matthew spent four seven of his money to buy six identical pencils. So what does four over seven mean? Four out of seven is like a fraction, right? Out of seven parts, you are supposed to cut four parts out. And these four parts, you are supposed to buy six identical pencils. So here comes the model. I know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And down here, four out of the seven of them are used to buy what? Six pencils. Is that okay? Clear, right? Good. He spent the remaining. So this is your remaining amount of money. And what does he do with it? All right. He can just pass it to me. But, but, but no, he went to buy four more pencils. He went to buy four more pencils and also what? Three files, right? All right. That's why it's called Mutus Pens and Files. Lah, huh? If not, no files, then it should be called pens only. What? All right. So what do you do from here? All right, the question says, what fraction of his money did he use to buy the three files? As you can see, there are pencils and there are files, right? So uh, what is the exchange rate? What is the exchange rate for what is the number of pencils to the files and all this? And, and because you're given a little bit of fraction, right? You start to panic, all right? Chew, chew, children, all right? So let's take a look at the place where there is a lot of clues, which is down here, right? Can you see that down here, four out of seven, right? Four out of seven of the money, right? He used it to spend on six pencils, right? So can I go and find out one pencil he spent how much or not? Cannot. So your four over seven, you are supposed to distribute them among six pencils to find out what is the fraction representing one pencil. Eh, sure, I know this. Yes, stay, change, flip. Remember this? All right, so six is actually six over one. You cannot divide by fractions, uh, you know. So how? You use this thing called stay, change, flip. And what do you get? 4 times 1 is 4. 7 times 6 will give you a 42. Sure, reduce to a lowest term. Sure, you will become 2 over 21. So what does the 2 over 21 mean? Huh? Ah, this 2 right actually represents what? 2 units is the, it's like the representation of 1 pencil. All right? It's like the price for 1 pencil. And what does 21 units mean? Huh? Right? It actually represents the total amount of money you have. Is that okay? All right, so you need to understand what all these numbers represent. All right, 21. Uh, 21 is the total. Uh, yes, so the whole thing down here is total, right? Can I chop, chili chop, all right, to cut these seven big units into 21 units? Not can. If you do that, you'll become like that. Law. Wow, teacher, so efficient. <laughs> all right, so I know, I know some of you will say that uh, you're very hard to draw model and all this, all right, but it's actually quite uh, easy if you can cut them into the right size. Can't you see that? All right. If you can see that, that would be good. Lah. Which means that this portion here, right? All right. Is the same size as the six pencils, right? This will be also for your six pencils. Lah. But down here, they say that two units represents one pencil. You see? Two units, one pencil. 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 Can you see not? Beautiful, right? So down here, got how many pencils? One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct or not? Nice, right? Yes, beautiful, I know. So this remaining amount, right, what happened? Oh, he went to buy four more pencils, huh? which means that down here, he went to cut again. All right, two units, one pencil, two units, one pencil, two units, one pencil, two units, one pencil. And down here, he buy one pencil, two pencil, three pencil, and the fourth pencil. Is that okay? Ah, which means that he's left with what? He's left with this little portion. And this little portion, he buy what? Uh, he use it to buy his three files. Lah. Is that okay? Yeah. Isn't it clearer if you can chop them up nicely? <laughs> yeah, right. What fraction of his money did he use to buy the three files? All right. That is one. Uh. This is one. Uh. All right. What fraction? Means you have to give as a fraction. Uh. One out of what? The total. What is the total? Very good. The total is 21. So this will be your answer. 1 out of 21 is spent on the three files. Understand or not? Not too bad, right? Okay? Yes, let's move on to the next part. That's part B. All right, this is a two-mark, two-mark question. 
if one file was given for free for every five files bought, it means that what? Okay, if I go and buy five files, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five files, right? This is like one set. Huh? The shopkeeper is giving me another one file free. FOC. I love it. I love things that is FOC. <laughs> Teacher, why are you so cheap? Okay, anyway, anyway, one file is free if I buy five files. So how? Of course, Matthew Smart, he want to exchange all the pencils uh, return back to the shopkeeper and exchange it for files. All right, can earn the one file free, right? Then after that, go and sell again. Lah. All right, so what is happening? How many files can Matthew be able to buy if he were to use all his money to buy files? All right, so it goes back to this fraction down here. Look, one, uh, one out of 21, right? This one down here can allow you to buy three files. All right, so one out of 21, the one allows you to buy three files, right? So now you don't want to buy pencil, huh? you return to the shopkeeper, you want to change everything to what? To pair uh, to files, all right? So you are supposed to use the entire amount. The entire amount means what? You got 21 upon 21, right? The whole thing, the total amount. And you are supposed to change all to files. So one out of 21, you can get three files, all right? 21 out of 21, you can get, wow, many files, 63 files. All right. But is that all? Is that all? No, no, no. I want the freebies. I want the free things. Questions say that every five of it, right, you can get one free file. So inside 63, right, how many sets of five are there? All right. How many sets of five are there? So once again, right, this one, I will choose to use my long division to do. Why? Because if you use your calculator, you press 63 divided by 5. All right, you will get a what? You'll get a 12.6. Then you write 12.6 down here. Huh? What is 12.6? What is the 0.6? 12.6 is the exact value, but you don't want the exact value. You want the remainder portion. All right, to find out how many files will not entitle you to the free of charge file. So I use my long division instead. All right, it takes a little bit more time, but it gives me more clarity. Why not? All right, important thing is you have to be clear during your exam, right? Oh, you see, there's a remainder of three files that is what? Cannot be free of charge one. All right, there's no exchange for free or charge. All right, you cannot bargain with the shopkeeper. What does this 12 represents? This 12 is the quotient, 12 full sets. All right, these 12 full sets, right? You can eventually exchange for what? Yes, can exchange for the free files. All right, so one set will entitle you to one free file. 12 sets will entitle you to? Yes, you will get 12 FOC free of charge files. Is that okay? And your this remaining three files, right? What happened? No choice, nah. All right. Why didn't you bring extra money to buy another two more files, right? Then you can get another free file, right? All right, but it's okay. These three files is still there. All right, it's just not able to exchange for the uh, one free file. So it's okay. Don't worry. So how? How many files do you get in total? All right, you have your 63 plus the 12 free of charge files. All right, that will give you your what? That will give you your 75 files. Is that true? All right, that will give you your 75 files. Hey, sure. how about this tree? Must add or not? All right, don't need. All right, don't need. How come? Because your this tree yeah, is already part of here already. Can? Okay. So 63 is the files that you get from 63. How many sets of files are there? You can get 12 full sets. These 12 full sets, you will be able to get 12 free files. The remaining three is already part of this 63. You cannot do anything about it. All right. And therefore, you will get 75 files. Hey, sure. Uh, can you explain it in another way? Sure. Sure. So your 63 files, right, that you have, you can break it down to what? You can break it down to 60 files. And also an uh, additional three files here. Is that okay? Okay. And these 60 files, right? Can you go and do the exchange? Sure. 60 divided by sets of five, you get what? 12 sets. All right. And 12 sets will entitle you to 12 free files. Is that okay? Okay. And these three files, no choice. All right. It will still be three files. You cannot do anything about it. All right. So what happened? You receive your 60 files. You get 12 free files, and there is these three files you cannot do anything about it. So 60 plus 12 plus 3, isn't it back to 75 files? 
Is this a better explanation? All right, if some of you can see this clearer, that would be good. So children, ultimately, right, you must look for a method whereby you are able to fully understand. Once you can understand, you will be able to solve. Once you can solve, you can score. Simple as that. All right, and that's it. All right, so do remember to click the subscribe and the like button. All right, I'm from uh, 88 Tuition. You can see from behind. Yes, this is Burn Ong here, signing off. Learn with Burn.